Rivals have chipped away at Apple's smartwatch dominance in Q1. We're back on the Motley Fool, Will, because remember we talked about you're an expert over here. Mm. What does that mean? Financial. What do you think it means? The well, it's a, I guess it's a play. Oh, I don't know, actually. I'm not even going to go on record. I, I'm, I'm completely okay. unsure of what that means. Uh... Well, now we have to. We can't leave no. it like that. We can't. <laughs> Motley fool define. So. The definition of Motley fool, a professional clown employed to entertain a king or nobleman in the Middle Ages. So es essentially a jester. Okay. Interesting. Does that make you look at the site differently? Mm. In a way, yeah. Is it like a joke news site, like The Onion or something? No, not at all. It's a financial Wall Street type yeah. of site. It's memorable, I would say. Yeah. Well, the, you can see actually their uh, logo there is a jester. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe it's some sort of a statement or comment on the financial markets in general. It's all a, reporting on, it's all a ruse. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but they're having fun with it. Yeah. Anyway, point being, it's, it's a well-known, established brand in this type of reporting, and they follow very closely. Here we have an article from Evan New. Is that how I should pronounce that? You? I think so. AirPods may have cannibalized Apple Watch sales. Well, other smartwatch makers have also chipped away at Apple's dominance. I didn't... It seemed... Like the Apple Watch was the only smartwatch you would encounter for a really long period of time. And Samsung kept pumping out the Galaxy products. Obviously, Huawei's put out the GT stuff. But it just, nothing close to the Apple Watch from a footprint perspective, what I see in public, what I see in the regular daily life. But maybe everybody already got their Apple Watches and they're happy with them. You're bringing up, I see the oh, the Moto 360. I remember the event I went to in Chicago when they launched that, I believe, is where I was with the round face and Android Wear didn't really take off. Then you had the luxury ones. And Fossil put one out. Tag did one. I remember hearing about another luxury one recently. Was it, who's a famous watchmaker? He charged you a boatload of cash. Some luxury company. It was like 5,000 bucks. It doesn't matter. Rolex? <laughs> It wasn't Rolex. It was like a Rolex. It was in the same, similar uh, category to Rolex. But they're all having to build their stuff on top of Android Wear, obviously. Mm -hmm. Apple's not going to let you do your own Apple Watch. Right. Uh, so, anyway, up until this point, uh, the Apple Watch has been the most successful by far. It still is, by the way, but they're giving up some ground to other players. And this comes from a recent report via... What is that company's name that does these amazing reports? Canalys. Canalys. Uh, shout out to them because I've missed their name in the past and they're responsible for putting together this data. And, and they, they keep you, they're keeping us tuned in to what's happening in the markets in general. So Huawei grew by a lot. Year over year growth, 113%. They bounced back. Uh, a lot of that success in the domestic, their domestic market inside of China. Chinese customers are getting more smartwatches and not necessarily choosing Apple. Samsung also grew 46%, so they're moving more Galaxy watch products. Garmin grew themselves. Fitbit shrank and Apple shrank. We're I guess we're talking about market share. Still, though, of all the shipments, Apple was by far the biggest player at 5.2 million units Q1 2020. Now, obviously, a lot of things have happened Q1 2020 that could impact this right here, these numbers right here. But I think it's significant. It's significant to me because the Apple ecosystem is sort of unique. It's not always indicative of everything that's happening in the tech market. In other words, the the there is some sort of a a feeling that when you're within the Apple ecosystem that you want to own all the little pieces to make you a full, a whole person. Do you know what I'm saying here? Yeah. It seems so easy. You got the iPhone. The integration is so tight right. between the devices that it feels you're getting the most by having all the things. And of course, Apple loves that. Mm -hmm. It means you're buying more things. And it makes sense that they're also saying that they think 
possibly AirPods and the popularity of AirPods bit into people's potential purchasing of the watch because they're like, I can only get one of these accessories and I'd rather have the AirPods. But when you start to see the adoption across other brands who don't have the same amount of strength in their own branded ecosystem, and I don't think that that's much of a surprise to anyone that we would say Huawei doesn't quite have it and Samsung doesn't quite have it to the same degree because they're both built on Android up until this point. Mm -hmm. So when we see growth in those players, it maybe it means the global adoption of smart watches in general is actually finally starting to take off a little bit. I don't want to say take off. It's not massive growth, but people are starting to adopt it a little more. You throw in companies like Garmin. I think Kirk's wearing a Garmin. I have a Polar watch, which is sort of semi-smart. And yeah, maybe, maybe the embrace is taking place. Now, the other interesting one on this chart, Fitbit, diving off a cliff. Uh, they're in the process of getting acquired by Alphabet, Google. Who knows what they're going to do with it to maybe turn it around. But Fitbit was, they were big time for a long time in the wearables. And they are having trouble, obviously, keeping up, keeping at the same pace as some of these other players. Because ultimately... With these devices, kind of like your smartphone, you're not going to own multiples. It's, it's a, it's a one-time deal. If you got the Fitbit tracker, you're not having the other yeah. one. And vice versa, if you got the Apple Watch, you're not going to be throwing a Fitbit next to it. Unless you're like some crazy fitness person. you got to have access to all the apps and variations. I know you wore a Fitbit for five minutes, ten. Yeah, to track my sleep. And I figured it was good, so I don't use it anymore. I know, it's so easy not to use these wearables. It's just the charging, to be honest. I know. I complained about that back in the day. People got mad at me. They said, well, you can't charge something? But I agree, which is one of the reasons I gravitate towards this semi-smartwatch from Polar. It's the Vantage. I charge it like once a week, maybe. And that's... It's not so much that I avoid doing it so often that it's a... It also charges really fast. So if I do forget to charge it, like I did this morning, for example, it was a little low on battery. I just put it on there for, I don't know, maybe it was 10 minutes and it was already 25% battery, which will easily get you a day or two more days. Mm -hmm. It could do a week on a full charge for me. I don't, I have a, I don't even know if they still make this one. This was the Vantage V, I think, not the M. And I'm not sure if they still make it, but... Oh, they do. Okay, there it is. Yeah, this was the Vantage V. But they put out other stuff since then. It's not cheap. It's not a cheap watch. And I totally barely scratched the surface on its functionality because I'm not mapping runs or anything like that. Every so often I go on a bike, things like this. But more importantly, I like the design of it. It's a, it's fairly rugged compared to some of the uh, more elegant smartwatch approaches. It has a really good heart rate monitor and the battery lasts a really long time. Mm. And I don't even have notifications turned on because I don't really want notifications on my wrist. So anyway, nonetheless, they're not on this chart. I wonder where they uh, fit in, but Garmin is a real competitor for them on the fitness side. Anyway, Apple giving up a little bit of ground to the likes of Huawei, Samsung, in the smartwatch department.